coming up right now is Destination Germany. We're going to take you on a journey somewhere in the country that is well worth a visit. Whether you're a tourist, a permanent resident, a foreigner, or a German citizen. Here, we'll be covering the famous sites as well as the little-known corners of Deutschland. All that matters is showing you that Germany is an interesting and exciting place to visit. And if you enjoy the destinations that we talk about each week, check out our website, thisweekingermany.de, and we'll have photos of each week's destination. Last week, we found out about and talked a little about a piece of history which is tucked away but still can be visited in Germany today. Many universities and even some high schools have prisons that misbehaving students could be incarcerated in. Well, these were not the maximum security prisons you might see on television these days. If you got into trouble while attending school, you could find yourself confined to a sparse room for a few days to a few months. These student prisons are obviously not in use today, but you can still visit them as the surviving detention centers are now protected museums. So don't forget to check out our previous episode if you want all the information on those student prisons. This week we're going to be checking out a specific museum that is located in the city of Dresden. Our destination is the Bundeswehr Military History Museum. This museum houses records and exhibits from military history starting way back to 1300. Wow, that sounds pretty interesting. So uh, where in Dresden can we find it? From the train station, you can take a tram to the Stauffenberg Alley. From there, you can't miss it. The museum by itself is in an old armory building that was built in the mid-1800s. Though it became a museum shortly after, in 1897. It was first a Nazi museum, and then a Soviet museum, and then an East German museum. And now it's a military museum, so this building has gone through quite a lot of changes. It actually closed down completely in 1989 when the reunification process was taking place. It was decided in 2001 that it would become a museum that would show people a way to reconsider the way they think about war. And in 2011, it officially opened as the Bundeswehr Military History Museum. So this is not your run-of-the-mill normal National History Museum, so what's so special about it? The museum is trying to distance itself from those military museums that seem to glorify war and battles. This museum tries to show what the causes were that led to war and what the consequences were of the aftermath. It will show visitors a human component of war and the feeling and thoughts of all those involved. So um, that does sound like a, a, an appropriate idea or a theme for a military history museum. Um, so visitors really can learn something here, which is different from what they could learn at uh, national uh, military history museums from other countries. That's right. The museum doesn't even stop there. The museum encourages dialogue from the visitors, and if they, they'll try and answer any questions that people might have. So how much time would I need if I went to this museum, and would I need more than a few hours to see everything? They do have quite a lot of information and exhibits, so it really depends on the individual of how fast or how slow they want to take it. There are two main ways to view the museum. You can focus just on military themes, or you can focus on chronological events. And just to give you an idea of how much they have to offer, they have 11 different theme tours that focus on different aspects of war. There are also four different tours for chronological events. If learning about military, war, and history from a humanistic standpoint with employees who are there to answer questions is something you might be interested in, the Bundeswehr Military History Museum in Dresden will be a great destination.